Do you think that, perhaps, this wasn't the right choice? I know I didn't have much say in the matter, but... I accepted it so easily, so willingly. I could have fought. I could have... tried to rationalize the situation. I could have... said that I wanted something different. What do you think? Do you think that... our relationship can survive this? No. No, it's not the distance I'm worried about. What worries me is... all of the stress this is going to put us under. Think about it. We have a child. You're a soldier still. Every time you do your job... You're risking your life. It was so much easier when we were both doing that. I don't know why. It was somehow easier to imagine a world in which both of us were gone than a world where it's likely that if you die... I'll be left alone. I know. I know I won't truly be alone. I'll still have Frida. But... It's different, you know? You... You hold a special place in my heart. A different place. That doesn't make her any less special. But... You give me something that she could never be able to give me. You... Love me. In a way that is... It's indescribable. How it makes me feel is beyond words. I hope that she grows to love me, just as I love her. I hope that I can be the kind of mother that gets along with her daughter and has a close bond with her. I've always wanted that. I never wanted to be like my own mother. I worry now. So much more than I did before. When we were in the Survey Corps, I... I had so much more free time than I do now. More than I'd like to admit. When we weren't going on expeditions, we were cleaning. Training occasionally so we didn't get rusty. And we were going over plans. But that didn't take up much of our time. I was always able to spend time with our little girl. And so were you. Now, we're going to be separated. And with things the way they are now, I don't know when you'll be able to visit us again. Worse still, I don't have the time to spend with her. Current affairs are a mess. A mess that I now have to clean up. I don't have time for our daughter. And I'm afraid that... 
despite my high rank now. I won't be able to make the time. No matter whom I tell off, whom I am forced to assign my duties to. You know, I used to read stories of girls who were born into poverty. They would be mistreated and ignored by their mothers. But one day, they would grow up and they would become powerful. They would become confident and kind. In some of those stories, those little girls, they grew up to be princesses, queens. I used to dream about that. I used to dream about becoming a queen and offering all of my kindness to my kingdom. I want to do a good job. I want to treat this kingdom the way it deserves to be treated. With you and the rest of the Survey Corps, I want to fight. I want to... I want to give these people the freedom they deserve. The freedom that they should have been born into. But in doing so, can I afford to spare a little time to be the mother my own mother never was? Can I afford to care for our daughter? What? No, no. I'd hate to ask such a thing of you. You've given up enough as it is. You're taking leave just to help us get settled. To help make sure Frida knows that you're always going to be a part of her life. No matter how far away you are. I could... I could never ask more of you. I know I'm not asking, and I'm not going to. I appreciate that you're offering, but... I can't accept. I know how much the Survey Corps means to you. No matter what. I don't want you to leave it. Just because I'm stressed. You shouldn't have to sacrifice anything else for me. Believe me. I've taken enough from you as it is. Don't... Don't do that. Don't tell me to... Look at you and... Make that expression. You're giving me that look. That look that... You always use when you're trying to reassure me. It almost hurts to see it now, because I know what it entails. You're going to tell me again that you're willing to leave the Survey Corps to stay with us. I'm not going to ask you to do that. I'm not going to accept your offer. You need this. It's what you've always wanted. 
It's how you believe you were born to spend the rest of your life. I can't take that away from you. So please, don't tell me to look at you, expecting me to crumble under the gaze of that expression. It won't work this time. It's been a while since you called me by that name. I know that you were aware of my true name for a while, but out of habit, you still called me Krista. It's strange hearing you call me Historia. I don't mind, of course. It was just a bit out of the blue. Uh, all right. I'll look at you. But that expression... That expression... It's different. You seem more determined. Uh. You... You don't have to do this. The Survey Corps is your dream, isn't it? It's not? Then what is? Surely it can't be this. Then what is it? Uh. What? Frida. Frida and I. We're your dream? I... Why? Why did you choose the Survey Corps? Huh. You always told me that... It was because of... Your friends. You didn't want to abandon them. All this time, you were just chasing after me until you could work up the courage to tell me how you felt. Now what? What's your dream now? To stay. You're... You're really going to stay. My mother was distant. She died in front of my eyes. My father abandoned me. And up until recently... I thought he was dead, too. He only wanted me... so that... I could fall under the spell of the First King. So I could... continue... our family's legacy. And my sister... Frida... The one we named our daughter after. She was... She was the only one who was there for me, growing up. I... 
I knew her, but I didn't. I promised that our daughter would never have to grow up with a family like that. I'm so glad you feel the same. <laughs>